Okay, so here's the deal with the honor lock practice assignment and for honor lock tests. One, you have to do it using Google Chrome. Otherwise, it's going to give you issues. So make sure you have a Chrome browser. Um, so then you're going to click on the honor lock practice assignment folder. And here's some information about honor lock. Uh, it tells you about student privacy if you're worried about that. Um, it gives you all the information that you need. You may have to um, download a Chrome Onalock extension. Uh, it'll take you, uh, it's very quick to be able to do that. Uh, once you're finished with any Onalock exams, you can always remove it if you are not comfortable having it on your computer. Anyway, um, once you read all that information, there's two links. One says click here to access the practice exam through Onalock. The other one says Onalock practice exam. I'm sorry, practice assess assignment. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, so here's the deal. This one says don't click on the link above until you go through and activate Honor Lock first. So if I click here, let me just show you. It's going to take me to my assignment. Um, this one says keep going just because I uh, started this one already. But it needs a password, so I can't do this. Okay, Honor Lock has to put the, the password in for you, so don't click on that. Click where it says this is the little honor lock symbol it looks like a shield with a check mark click on that click here to access the practice exam through honor lock okay and then um, what I'm gonna do is um, and I would encourage you to, you don't have to do this but a lot of windows pop up after this and um, in order to be able to see them all I'm gonna minimize this and I basically went over here and I resized it from full to like a half screen. You can resize it when you start taking the test to full screen, but when you're getting started with the test, I would I would make it half screen. Okay. And so again, what we've done is we went to um, the the link that says click here to access the practice exam through Honor Lock. So I've done that. And then it says Honor Lock Practice Exam third party and hit launch. And when you do that, you'll see an honor lock screen. It'll say exam progress, 0%, and it'll say data collection agreement. And you'll read through this agreement and then click that you authorize the collection of data and their terms of service and hit continue. And then it'll say honor lock instructions. Click the launching uh, launch proctoring button. So I'm going to do that. And basically, um, over here, you want to read through their privacy details, click I understand, and then um, it is going to take a picture of you. All right, I had to turn my camera off uh, from the video. Okay. Okay, so now that I've done that, taking the picture, it says launch screen recording, hit proceed. And then you'll see your screen pop up and you're going to click it. And that's what you're going to share with Honor Lock. You're going to share your screen. So it's going to be able to see the screen that you're working on to make sure that you're taking the test and that you are um, not going to websites that you're not supposed to go to, that kind of thing. Um, now, notice over here, um, this is why I have it over here smaller so that I can see this window. So you should see yourself. And then you should see a thing where it says password required and it says insert password. Don't click that yet. On the right hand side, you'll see it says you're ready. So you have to kind of scroll down. It says access exam. You're ready to take your exam. Navigate to your exam provider blackboard and then navigate to the specific exam. When you are prompted to enter a password, click on the insert password. OK, so just scroll down and you can see the link to um, the exam here. Um, unfortunately, you can't just click it. So just um, you can copy and paste it. I uh, right click and then I hit go to. But you can also copy and paste it into your browser. And it takes you back to um, the page we were originally on. Um, you can also navigate to it as well. Um, and you're going to scroll down to the honor lock assignment. Now this is the same uh, one we clicked on earlier and, and we couldn't do it because it said it had a password. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click. Uh, you're going to hit start exam. Um, 
I'm going to hit keep going because I was working on it this morning. And then it says ready to start your test, enter the password. So this is why this is important to have this screen on the left hand side up. And I'm going to hit insert password and it inserts a password. And then I'm going to hit start test. It says proctoring in progress. Don't close this window. And then I can maximize this one and I can start the test. And basically it's just a true false thing that you agree to hold the academic integrity pledge. And then, you know, you can just go through and take the test fairly quickly. Once you're finished with the test, you're going to hit um, submit and submit again. And then uh, once you do that, once you've submitted it, then you can hit stop sharing. Yeah, so um, then you can hit exit on or lock. Okay. And then um, proctoring session submitted. And then you're finished. Um, so again, the big thing here is making sure you use Google Chrome. And second, um, making sure that when you're first starting it off, have um, your your web screen to be half size so that the pop up you can see it so that you will be able to enter um, insert password when it asks.